Okay, so today it's really getting real. I had to go to the doctors because I'm not feeling good as usual. And I went to the doctors only to find that the receptionist and the nurse do not have masks because they are out. So I'm going to show you how to make these masks. While they are not the N95, they do have three, three layers to them. They're all cotton and that should be a good deterrent, at least enough of a cover to help. And they're washable, which is another big bonus. So I'm gonna take some to them to help them out. It's a really serious situation we're in and it's kind of critical that everybody kicks in and helps as much as they can. I will attest to this, I hate sewing. And sewing, whenever I did it at school, I double stitched a sleeve over 10 times. And you can only imagine like how the teacher didn't appreciate that. I still don't appreciate sewing. It took me about 10 tries to figure this all out. And I can tell you now I found the easiest way. It's basically taking three panels, not worrying about measuring and slapping them onto the sewing machine. But it's really easy to do. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. These can also be stitched by hand. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing and you can order material online. I noticed that it's still at Joanne Fabrics and Michaels and you can do curbside pickup. There's some great coupons online. So make sure to look and make sure you're using that Rakuten or Rakuten to get cash back too and use a credit card that gives you cash so you make a little bit of money back while you're making these. I think that you should definitely have these for your families. Um, they're simple enough to make. If you have parents, make them for your parents. If they do have to go out to the grocery store, something is better than nothing. You don't wanna get those droplets across your face. Again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. I'm only a normal human being making these, hoping to make a difference that our family doesn't get sick and maybe that I can help somebody else. All right, stay tuned and let's see how we do this. So this is nine by six. I clipped it. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so this is nine by six. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it, mark it, and cut it. That's it. No, no markers, nothing. Just gonna do it quickly. I don't even have the right scissors. These are not even material scissors, so. That's it. And I'll swing over here, make sure I cut up over enough. Okay. Head up. Okay, to get this right, this is gonna be the in-between layer and then I'm gonna lay this one right side up so that when we turn it inside out, it'll come out the right way here. And then I just clip it down here. I know it's gonna be fine. I just pretty much do this. That one's right side up and this one is right side down.
Chicago sew this right here and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I went ahead and sewed this straight across. So now that it's all even, see, like this, you can see, oops, can you see? So everything looks good. So now I'm going to work on folding this. This is the hardest part for me. Um, so basically I'm going to fold and hold and then clip right here. Do it straight across. I'm going to do it again. You see there's three solid lines there. This will tighten up whenever we sew it. So I'm going to go ahead and sew here and here. This is what we have. It expands as they needed it to expand. And it's short. It goes right back. It goes right on the face. 